Shalom. Ka halahi hao ba shimi hao shai. All praise be to hao ba shimi hao shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessing and mercy to the elect brothers. Uh, this is GMS Arkansas. Stop and listen. It's coming with another lesson, man. Just trying to further this truth, you know. Uh, today is February the 18th. Um, actual, uh, what Esau calls Saturday. And right now, in this particular time uh, of the year, we in the, we in the um, Sabbath right now, which just happened to fall about every seven months. It falls on Friday sundown, Saturday sundown, right? And we in that time right now. We've been in that time for, uh, this is the new moon, one, two, three. This is the fourth Sabbath, right? So next week we'll be going into another new moon Sabbath, which will be Saturday sundown, Sunday sundown. Okay. Now these so-called Amalek, these Amalek's who so-called Jews, they actually worship the Sabbath, Friday night, Saturday, Friday sundown, and Saturday sundown, right? Which which stems from the Roman Catholics, right? Uh, to say that's the Sabbath and that's solely the Sabbath is not right because the Sabbath goes by the new moon, right? And uh, get into it, the Apocrypha, the 14 books that was taken out of the scriptures. This is the King's Ain version of the Apocrypha. These are the books that were taken out in 1826 by the Bible Destruction Group. Okay. Uh, Marie Seurat, 40, 43. Sirach 43 and start six. He made the moon also to serve her, serving her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. So how made the moon, Yahweh made the moon so we could recognize the seasons, right? Verse seven. From the moon is the sign of feast, right? Sign of feast. The Passover, the first fruits, tabernacles, uh, Day of Atonement, Hanukkah, Purim, and also the Sabbaths within themselves. The four Sabbaths that happen in, in, in a cycle. It says, a light that decreases in her perfection, right? So the moon is not never out. It's just it just it increases and decreases. That's why you get uh, what's called waxing and waning, right? If it's when it's a new moon, you don't see no light, right? But that's not that doesn't mean the moon is not there. It says, verse eight. It says the moon is called after her name, increasing wonderfully. In her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. The month, Salaki. Salaki, let me read that over. Verse 8. The month is called by her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament. So, the month and moon, moon is month, right? You know, the month is governed by the new moon cycles, man. Which new moon to new moon is a cycle like 29.5 days, right? So a month and moon is the same, right? Let me get this in the scriptures. It's not, it's not just Friday, uh, sundown to Saturday sundown, which is you know, we go by the new moon, which the day after is day two, day three, day four, all the way to the, to the end, and it starts over. He saw them coming there with those uh, days of the week and whatnot through the uh, Gregorian calendars, and I'll get into that. Uh, Lord willing, I'll get into that, explain that. 
This is Isaiah 66. This is Isaiah 66 and um, 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, right? You say I will make as meaning in the kingdom, right? The new heavens and the new earth are the kingdom, the new the kingdom that's coming after uh, the thermonuclear destruction, after America's totally annihilated, the new kingdom and the new earth, the kingdom, right? It says, I will make shall remain before me, said Yahweh. So shall your seed and your name remain. So our seed gonna remain in our name. Israel is gonna remain, right? It's gonna stay. You know, never to be wiped away. You know, and it says verse twenty-three, from one new moon to another. See, from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Lord Yahweh. So in that day, it said all flesh come come worship before Him, right? This is a solemn uh, a solemn uh, day. This the Shabbat is a solemn day, man. They said all flesh will come worship before him, even in, in the in, in the kingdom. He said all flesh, either other nations, man. You know, they don't if they, if, if they don't come worship, we're gonna we're gonna deal with them, you know. You know, that is what it is. Oh, let's see here. Fourteen. See here what we got. We we'll read that again, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, right? And we know that the moon is changing. The new moon is changing of every month, right? From one Sabbath to another, right? From one Sabbath to another, because in between that cycle you have four Shabbats. Shall all flesh come to worship before me? Say every how. You know, so you other nations, y'all gonna keep y'all gonna keep our high holy days also. You know, you can go in the scriptures and give you an example. Uh, when you read in uh, Kings, First Samuel, like First Samuel twenty, First Samuel twenty. 18 then Jonathan said to David tomorrow is a new moon right so they let you know back in the ancient days we were going by the new moon we weren't going by he didn't, he didn't say tomorrow is Friday right tomorrow is Saturday he said tomorrow is a new moon right which was the beginning of a new month and thou shalt be dismissed because thy seat will be empty and when thou hast stayed three days then thou shalt go down quickly and come to the place where thou didst hide thyself when thy business was in hand and shall remain in the stone easel. Verse 27 And it came to pass on the morrow which was the second day right the day after the Shabbat the day after the new moon the second day because the new moon is the first day that David's place was empty, and Saul said unto Jonathan, his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to me, neither yesterday nor today? Right? Because we feasted during those times. Well, on those times of new moon, we had feasts. They were, you know, they had the feast, right? He said he didn't come. Why? Because the house of Saul was trying to annex David, man. Right? So David didn't didn't want that's why David asked Jonathan to let him be excused so he could go to his father's house so he could stay out of trouble, basically. You know. That's why he wanted to go, you know, and leave. 
you know. In a in a question, this is uh during the time of Samuel's man. This is you know before before uh they before David you know came into power before Solomon, right? We wasn't even in the Roman Empire right then, right? Now even even uh, when we were in the Roman Empire, Jacob still kept these kept these uh, feast days, man. Now we don't do it because we have uh, we have been discontinued from our heritage, man. Jacob and my hair, they don't do no Shabbats, man. But the men of the Lord, we practice Shabbat, you know. If if we can, if a lot of brothers be working, right? So we practice Shabbat when we can. We rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability, right? And a lot of our people don't do it, but even in that Roman captivity, in Rome, we, we still were able to keep uh, our laws, man. Even though we paid them taxes, man, we still kept our laws or whatnot. I'll show you an example of that. Let's see. Uh, John. John 18 28 it says then then led they Yahweh Shai from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment and it was early and they themselves went not into the judgment hall lest they should be defiled but that they might eat the Passover so it was it was a uh, round of Passover right so that the Passover is a, a, is a Sabbath also. Pilate then went out unto them and said, What accusations bring ye against this man? That man was Yahweh Shah, right? You know, it says, They answered and said unto him, If he were not a malefactor, what a malefactor is an evildoer or a criminal, right? We would not have delivered him unto you. Right, but these are just wicked, wicked, basically like, as we say today, these are wicked ass niggas, man. You know, people in them high seats, man, but they were wicked. It says, verse 31, Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him and judge him according to your law. According to your law. So that let you know that we still were keeping our laws, even though we were in captivity, we still kept our laws under the Roman Empire. Right? But today in America, it's been beaten out of us, discontinued from our heritage, so we don't even keep our laws, man. And it says, The Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. So they were trying to get Pilate to do it. So I let you know we were keeping our laws even in the captivity. Right? So, Matthews 27. And like I said, we're in the Shabbat right now. It just happens every, uh, that is Friday, Saturday, sundown. It happens uh, every like seven months. And seven is like completion. So it happens every like seven months. This is uh, Matthew 27 and 62. Now the next day that followed, the day of preparation, the chief priests, and the Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that deceiver said while he was yet alive, after three days he would rise. So they were calling your house shy deceiver, man. You know? And it's the same way they're going to do you, brothers, when you go out on the highways and byways. You'll be called such also. You know? He was called that by the by the elders, man. These was wicked men. This is Mark. Mark eight and thirty one. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. Right? So he'd be rejected by his own people, man. 
Because at that time, at that time in the Roman Empire, we didn't have uh, uh, the northern tribe was gone, right? So all you had left was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? You know, who, who we know today is the real dark-skinned people, man. You know, the southern kingdom, man. That we call damn niggas, man. Going against the Lord, man. You know. This Amos. Amos 8. Amos 8 and 5. Saying, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn? Right? Because on the new moon, when the new moon came in, when the Sabbaths come in, and the, and the Sabbaths, you didn't do no uh, civil work, no servile work. You didn't do no work, man. It was a rest day. So they asked him, when will it be gone when they could sell corn and make money? And the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekels great, and falsifying the balance by the seat, man. So that, that Sabbath, right? We rested on that day. That's why That's why they was wanting to know when it would be gone, you know? Because Israel paid, paid basically like close attention to that, uh, they paid close attention to that new moon, man. You know? They didn't basically go by the Gregorian, Gregorian calendar, right? Which was uh, the Gregorian calendar um, was made by Pope Gregory the Thirteenth, and it, it took place uh, of that Julian calendar, right? And even in the military right now, the military still goes by the Julian calendar. Like if you if you go get receipts or whatnot from warehouse uh, equipment or something. Any receipt that's done in there, you have the actual date, but then you have that Julian date also, right? And a lot of those calendars that they pass out around the military, they have the date, and then in the corner, they have some four, like four numbers in the corner. That's the Julian date. So the military still uses that Julian date, right? In the, in the, um, with the Julian calendar, it went off the vernal equinox, which was like 365.25 days. Right, that point two five meaning like uh, 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 extra six hours were added, you know. But now Esau goes by the actual uh, Gregorian calendar, which actually cut like eleven minutes, so it cut it to like three sixty five, ten minutes, and somewhere around forty seven, forty eight seconds, you know. So over a period of uh, three or four centuries, three or four hundred years. Everything is going to be off three or four days. Either forward or backwards is going to be off, man. So that's the devil. That's Esau, man. That's that's Esau and his ways, man. Everything under Esau's command is 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 out of whack. It's out of order. The Israelites, we go by the new moon, man, which was set twenty nine point five days, and it's per cycle, new moon and new moon. You know, so Esau brings confusion, man. You know, he brings confusion. And I'm going to read this out of Zondon, Zondon Compact Bible Dictionary. I'm going to read to you what it talks about calendar. And uh, let's see here. C A. C A L. It says calendar. During the Bible period, was reckoned solely on the astron astronomical observation. Days, months, years were determined by the sun and the moon. Days of the week were not named by the Jews, but were designated by original numbers. It says the Jewish day began in the evening with the appearance of the first stars. So when the sun goes down, pursuing the Genesis, the first chapter, the day starts. When it, you see the sun goes down, when you see the first stars come out, that's the beginning of a new day. And you can read that Genesis uh, 1 in the first chapter. 
It says, Days were subdivided into hours and watches. The Hebrew nights were into three watches, right? Into three watches. Um, put it in here. Three, the Hebrew month began with the new moon. That's, that's plain. It says the Hebrew month began with the new moon before the exile months were designated by the numbers and the exile names adopted from the Babylonians were used. So it tells you that our calendar was started at the new moon, man. So that's point that's plain. You know and I'm gonna read this one scripture again in Sirach it says Sirach 43 and 6 he made the moon also to serve her in season for the declaration of times and a sign of the world from the moon is the sign of feast a light that decreases in her perfection the month is called by her name increasing wonderfully in her changing being an instrument of the armies above shining in the firmament of heaven so that's point blank man the bible dictionary even tell you that the, the uh hebrew month started with the new moon the moon new moon signifies a new month the cycle of the new moon from one cycle to the other is 29.5 days the confusion came when esau used the gregorian calendars and the julian calendars right and, and we gave you examples in the scriptures Right. Of the Shabbat, how David did, and the Lord gave you examples, man. You know how they still kept their laws even in captivity in the Roman Empire. You know, here in America, like I said, it's been beat out of us, man. We've been discontinued from our heritage, man. So that's why it's, it's crucial, man, to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and, and rehearse these righteous acts to the best of your ability, man. You know. Hey, and with that, man, Shabbat Shalom. All praise be Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect, man. Hey, this is GMS Arkansas. Stop and listen. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom.